Another little subtle variation of these IV problems. You're going to see this in the book and the homework, and of course, I'll do some on the test. I think they're doing it to be sneaky and tricky. No, they're not just sneaky and tricky. Here's the deal. You have, in this case, one gram of Dudley Myosin, that is the most potent antibiotic known to mankind. That is dissolved in 500 milliliters of normal saline. And again, the, the name of the fluid doesn't matter. In the real world, yes, you gotta get the right stuff to give the patient, but for doing the math, all you have to know is what? Well, I've got one gram of this medicine dissolved in this much liquid, and I'm going to give it for eight hours. Here's what's going to be potentially tricky, but it shouldn't be. All I'm looking for is milliliters per hour. I don't care how much of this stuff I have dissolved in the fluid. I'm going to still give 500 milliliters for eight hours, which means this medicine dissolved in the fluid does not enter into the calculation at all. This could be no medicine at all dissolved in it. This could be one gram of the stuff. This could be 500 milligrams. It could be four gallons. Whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's 500 milliliters to be given over eight hours, I'm going to take 500 and I divide it by eight. And the answer is 62.5. Whoa, though. What is my answer if the answer is 62.5? I round off to the nearest whole number, which is right there. But of course, you know the rules, you should. Since this is five or more, anything five or more is five, you make this a next higher number. So your final answer is 63. I give 63 milliliters per hour. Now, I don't see any great need to go over three or four or five or a couple of dozen of these things, realize lots of the homework will tell you there's some kind of medicine dissolved in your fluid. Ignore how much the medicine, you don't need to know that. All you need to know is how much fluid am I giving and how much time am I giving it and that's all you have to know. Just take the amount in milliliters divided by the number of hours and that is all there is to it. That was easy.